Titan II intercontinental ballistic missile was a land-based missile. It was the largest land-based missile that the United States ever deployed. The acronym is MAD, and I think that's probably the best way to describe it. Mutual Assured Destruction basically was sort of a philosophy that the United States developed and that the former Soviet Union sort of came to adopt as well. And what it meant is that both countries had enough nuclear weapons that they could devastate the opposing country and the rest of the world many times over. The United States had land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles. It had strategic bombers like the B-52, and it had submarine-launched ballistic missiles. And together, those were the strategic deterrent for the United States that actually enabled mutual assured destruction to function. There would be no survivors, and therefore, to do this, to launch a first strike against either country was viewed as suicide. We were a weapon of war, but the Titan II was really an implement of peace. Its job was to exist and to project itself as a credible threat and demonstrate for the former Soviet Union that it would be foolish for them to initiate a first strike against us and therefore it, that deterred World War III. So the real job of Titan II was never to launch at all. Titan II carried the W-53 warhead, had a yield of nine megatons. That's the explosive equivalent of nine million tons of TNT. It's about 650 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. The Titan II could launch from its underground silo in about 58 seconds, and it would take about 25 minutes for it to reach its target in the former Soviet Union, traveling at speeds around 17,000 miles an hour. Our job was peace through deterrence, and I was confident that if I did my job and everybody around me did their job, which we did every day without fail, that our mission of not launching our missile would be achieved. When I was coming on alert, I wasn't so much thinking about I could participate in World War III. I'm thinking my job is to prevent World War III. 